Hi, my name is Tanvi. Welcome to my life page. Today I will talk about teaching. I am an English teacher by profession and I have been teaching in Wellam Girls School Dehradun for the past one and a half year. I started teaching there in July 2015. This is my first job and first experience of teaching in an all girls residential school. I am basically an English language and English literature teacher and I am a teacher by passion. Teaching is all about enlightening minds by sparking the child's curiosity and moving him or her to think. It is a multifaceted profession which involves understanding strengths and weaknesses of each individual and catering to his or her needs. Language comprehension. We must understand language in its entirety, which involves focusing on all four components of language, which includes reading, writing, listening and speaking. Say for example, you read a poem today. You should be able to understand the content and write about it. It could be an essay or any other creative piece of work. You should be able to listen to the poem and to recite it orally. One must understand that none of these skills can be developed and honed in isolation. They are all directly proportional to one another. Analytical and application ability. You must be able to analyze the strength and weakness of each child in your class. Prepare worksheets and modules keeping in mind the average class potential and provide each and every child in your class an opportunity to apply that which has been learnt in class already. Catering to diversity. Teaching enables you to work in a multicultural and multilingual environment. I am a trained ESL instructor by profession, which means that I have been working in a classroom which has given me diverse students. As an English as a second language teacher, you get to engage with children from all walks of life. And therefore, it makes you understand that each child is unique and needs to be dealt with differently. There is some sort of inadequate understanding of the profession. We must understand that teaching occurs in three stages mainly pre teaching, teaching, and post teaching. You cannot enter a class at the time you are not prepared. So, you must first prepare the lecture that you are going to deliver in the class. While in class, your focus should be on engaging with the class, understanding what the child thinks, and also being able to address his or her queries. And post teaching involves analyzing assessing and evaluating your child's performance and responses. This is not completely appreciated. Hence, the profession is underrated and undervalued. A day in a teacher's life is exciting. If I talk about my day, it starts at 6.30 in the morning. I reach the school around 8 a.m. for assembly. I teach for uh, 4 hours a day on an average after which I am involved in student activities because I am a residential school teacher and then I call it today at 11. I hope I have been able to educate you on teaching. Thank you.